Great Scott. Now that's me. Anyway, we're going back to the future. Here, I've just got to review things. Hello again and welcome back to Scott Review Things. Not so fat man sat in the shed talking about the beer he's currently drinking type video. And this one, this is, this has got me excited um, because I love, there's two things I, I love. There's a lot of things I love. The 80s and 90s, fantastic. So anything that's um, nostalgic, I like. And I love a West Coast IPA. And if you're going to mix those two together, then we're, only, we, we, we're in for a treat. And stagger any good. Uh, brewery in Portsmouth do some tremendous, <coughs> tremendous beer. But as a lot of breweries these days, missing out, on the west coast style i know they've they've got um their oh, what was it called I can't remember what, uh, velociraptor their west coast which, which is really good but crying out for a really really good well-made west coast ipa everything's hazy uh, new england style and all that sort of shit so when i saw this the fact that it's based on back to the future and the fact that it's a west coast ipa as well we're on for a double thumbs up straight away. Now, I cannot sit here in good faith and tell you I haven't had this because I have. It was released yesterday, uh, which was Friday the 15th of November, and I had two thirds uh, on keg on release day. So, just being completely honest with you, and I wanted to pick a can up. One, because I think it deserves showing to you guys. But two, I want it for the camel because it is an absolutely fantastic can. Stagger any really good, do some really, really good cans. Their can artwork is all tremendous. This one for me absolutely stands out. And it's their Forward to the Past West Coast IPA. And I think we can all agree, as a Back to the Future themed beer, I think that's absolutely fabulous. It's, it's one of my favourite cans I think I've ever had. Now, as usual, I've absolutely forgotten to bring bring my glasses out, so I can't... I'm going to, I'm going to attempt to read what's on the can. Great Scott! A West Coast where we're going, we don't need... What's that word? Coasts. Packed with Biff Tannen and more pine than... Twin Pines Mall. This beer will floor you, floor your taste buds in the parking lot. With, I should have brought my glasses. <laughs> should have brought my glasses out. With one punch. Yeah. Something else. Serious shit. So when they were when they were announced, uh, they announced this. I put on Stagger Any Good socials. Please be bitter. Because I've bemoaned, as my good friend Dean's beer reviews, bemoaned the new age Westie that doesn't have any bitterness. And for me, part of the makeup of a really dis uh, decent West Coast IPA is I want grapefruit. I want some marmalade pithiness. I want some pine resin. I want it to be cloying in the mouth. And I want that pine. And I want a big, bitter beer. I'm a very bitter man. I would like my beer to be bitter as well, especially as a West Coast. So I said, please be bitter. And they said, we've got you. It's a challenge. 5.2% ABV. Personally, <coughs> I would like a West Coast to be higher. I want it to be around the 6% ABV range to give it a body, a little bit of an alcohol kick as well. But I'm not going to bemoan that. As long as it has that bitterness. Now, I've had it on, I've had it on ke uh, keg. I'm interested to see how it translates into can as well. And I think it was £5 something a can. 
but when you've got artwork that is tr as tremendous as that, I don't care. So I've got a staggering good, uh, staggering good glass. Let's go in for the kill. You can't. Um, I measure West Coast in this country by Oregon Trail, which is here, by Elusive Broom, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, the the standard bearer for me in this country, where West Coast. I had it on. I had it on tap at the Brewers Tap, and it seemed to have lacked that little bit of bitterness. Maybe that's where we're headed. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. You guys, if you like a West Coast IPA, is it just me or are some of these things just not doing it? Uh, so what's this? Forward to the past, West Coast IPA. In the glass, it looks apart. It looks apart of the West Coast, so we're non-hazy. Fucking thank the Lord. Uh, we've got a little, little bit of carbonation rolling out the glass. Head's got, gone away. I don't care. Go for a nose. That's tremendous. Um, you've got that sort of slightly caramel going on in there. But you've got some... It's a grapefruit. You've got some sort of marmalade orangey flavours. Tangerine. And you get that... That, that pine prickle and resin in the background. Cheers, everyone. It's not available in their web shop now, and it, it'd be on probably be on, be on Trembling Madness and places like that. So cheers, everyone. Now, Pretty decent. What I am going to say, and I would be negligent if I didn't, I want it to be higher in ABV. Um, I, I want it to be 5.8, 5.96, somewhere around there. 5.2 does leave lacking a slight body, but it makes up with it everywhere else. Nice pithiness up front, grapefruit, citrus, and you get that orange peel, marmalade flavour, and then you're hit right at the end by that nice pine, and you get the, the that resin, resinous pine that sort of sits at the end of it, and there is a nice bitterness. It's not raging, it's not as bitter as I would want it to be, but there, it, it is there, and I, I'm not going to sit and say it isn't, because it, it's doing everything else. I would just want it to be slightly higher on the ABV, so you get that slight alcohol kick from it. It'll give it more body as well. Um, but I think it's I think it's really good. When I had it on tap last night, I think I think I was going through the same thought process. Joe and Tim were both in there, and I said to Joe, "Really good beer." And it is bitter, and I want it to be bitter. I'm a very bitter man, so I'd like my beer to be bitter. And I think it's doing ev everything it should be doing. I would just like that, that alcohol to be slightly higher, and it's the only criticism I have of the beer. Um, the can art is tremendous. The, the dinosaur, as Marty McFly, is, is cracking. I think that is... Some of the best can artwork I think I've seen. The Back to the Future branding is absolutely on point. And the beer misses a perfect score. on. I don't know what I gave it on Untapped. I think I gave it a four. I'm pretty sure I did. We'll just have a quick check. Um, it misses that top mark solely by that slight lack of alcohol because i think it, it could do with being slightly higher and i'm i'm, I'm fucking i am nitpicking because it is really really good if you see this or you're going to put in a uh, if you like a west coast ipa and you're looking for something to buy for christmas or just just something that you'll enjoy 
put a, an order into Stag Only Good, or if you see them on Trembling Madness, Madness or in your local bottle shop, off license, local beer emporium, pick it up because I don't, I don't think you're going to be disappointed with it. I'm not. Um, I'm not by no means an expert on West Coast IPAs, but it is my favourite style. So I like to think I can pick out a decent one. And that is pretty good. Brand new out yesterday. We don't see enough really decent West Coast IPAs in this country. So I'm not going to sit and bemoan that one because I think it's really good. For me, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It would have got a double thumbs up. The elusive double thumbs up. Elusive. Uh, elusive double thumbs up if it had, had a little bit more alcohol to it because that would have given it a slightly more body and that slightly alcohol prick to it. But Again, I, I am really, really being picky on this one because this was one I'm really, really looking forward to. But it's well worth the money. If you see it, pick it up. Let me know in the comments what you think about the can and the branding. Do you like a West Coast IPA? Do you not like a West Coast IPA? If you don't, you're wrong. But it doesn't matter. We can all, well, the differences of opinion are absolutely fine, aren't they? So, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Stack really good beers. Always been very good. There are very few that I've not been that impressed with. Very low, very lucky in Ports. We've got Staggerly Good, we've got Mackay Mackay, uh, South Sea Brewing, Staggerly Good, all of them really, really good breweries. Urban Island. So, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't give it a thumbs down, there's a subscribe button somewhere. Back where we're going, we don't need roads. See you soon.